and the vibe in there was amazing. I absolutely loved it. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I hope everyone is having a great start to their day. Today, we have a very long day ahead of us for studying. Currently, right now, it is 8 a.m. Today, I decided to stay home because we have a ton of studying to do. So, I thought we would take the day to stay home, watch our lectures online, and get a lot of studying done because we do have a test coming up. So, currently, I'm just in bed. I feel so exhausted. I also did oversleep past my alarms because I was supposed to wake up at 6.30 but it's fine all of our lectures are recorded and i kind of needed the sleep today and the reason why my face is so shiny is because i do love to slug my face at night it gives my skin really nice hydration and your skin also does have a nice glow in the morning as well so yeah now i'm gonna go brush my teeth take a shower and we'll get our day started so i am finally done taking a shower and I'm dressed in a nice loose t-shirt that says New York and some sweatpants so this is the look we're going for today and I have my hair slicked back in a nice ponytail so now we are going to go ahead and start our morning so I'm going to go ahead and make some coffee and make some breakfast and then we'll get to work okay so we're just going to make some coffee so I have my Keurig set up right over there and we're going to go with a hazelnut coffee love these so let's get this coffee started Okay, so now that we have our coffee made, I also made some oatmeal as well. I absolutely love it. This is the maple and brown sugar oatmeal. It kind of reminds me of back home because Canada is all about like maple syrup and stuff. I have my coffee. Poppy literally knows how to hit the right spot every single time in the morning. So today, as you guys can see, I'm kind of in the kitchen living room space. It was really nice and sunny, so I decided to work in this area instead of my bedroom because it was kind of gloomy in my bedroom. And as you guys know, I spoke about this in my previous vlogs. I always love to go to class, but today I decided to do lecture from home. They do record the lectures as well. They also do live stream the lectures too, so if you do want to watch it at home, you definitely can. Right now, I currently have it live streaming right now, but since I missed like the first hour of class, I'm just going to re watch the recording of the first class we actually have two classes today so the first class that we had was urea cycle we were learning about the urea cycle how fun and then the second class that we have it is at 10 30 and that's on integration and metabolism so i'm just going to stay around for that class and then i'm just going to watch the first class on the recording and i'm probably going to play it around like 1.5 speed i can never watch a class on two times speed i feel like that is just way too fast for me and for me i like to take time to kind of process the material as well so when they're talking really fast i'm like what did they say and my brain is just like okay you're going like way too fast you need to like slow it down for this block it is on gi gastrointestinal system and it is a lot i previously had done gi back in med 4 mua and it was a lot as well and they also do go a lot in depth with the pathways here like the glycolic pathway gluconeogenesis urea cycle and stuff so there's like a lot more details that you do need to know i just have some powerpoints to go through and i kind of also want to go through the material from the beginning of this block so i decided not to go to class and also it is a long weekend this week here as well on Monday it is Labor Day for here in Antigua. I decided like you know what like I don't have any mandatory sessions such as like lab or clinical skills because I already had completed that at the beginning of the week. This is actually the first class I'm actually doing from home because today is kind of pretty busy. So we have classes to watch. We have to rewatch some of my other lectures from the past because some of them I do have to go through twice just to kind of understand it especially with the pathways. You do have to know the enzymes, coenzymes. You have to know like what inhibits it, the clinical correlations that go along with it and everything. So it is kind of like a lot to process. And the way that I like to studies I like to go through the um, PowerPoint learning objectives as well because that's what they do test on so as long as you understand and know the learning objectives of the lecture that they're teaching that day then you're pretty much set and I also want to do like a lot more practice questions as well so we are going to get that done too then we're gonna, probably going to go get some lunch and then also we do have a research group to go to later today at six I am part of the neurology research group here at AUA as well I did join a few clubs I also joined emergency medicine and I'm also the vice president for med one two for the student government association so i did join like a few clubs just not too much to kind of like overwhelm myself we do have an event to go to later today at six so we'll be heading to campus then and i'm definitely going to be taking you guys but for now we are going to be watching the lectures and stuff and i'm just going to show you guys how my day is watching lectures from home so i'm going to show you guys like my little setup that i have going on here and then we'll get started with studying 
So this is my setup. I have my iPad, my computer, I have my oatmeal, and I have my coffee as well. And then we have the view from outside. It is really nice and sunny out. So that kind of makes it more ideal for me to be studying in the kitchen. So currently right now the time is 12 24. So apparently now we just got word that we actually do have a mandatory meeting at 1 o'clock at school So now I have to go to school and attend this mandatory meeting apparently it's from 1 to 1 30 We all have to go and attend now So I have to go and drive to school, but I did end up getting ready this morning was not productive at all I feel like I study so much more better at school and plus like there were just so many distractions today That were just so unnecessary definitely for sure. I will not be staying at home again thinking I was gonna get work done because it was very unproductive as well so I'm just gonna go to class because I feel like that's when I'm the most productive and I pay attention the most because when you're in class like your phone's off you're paying attention to the professor and you literally have no distractions around you so I am just gonna go to class next time and never do this again because it is not for me and plus at MUA I did have to do a year and a semester online because of COVID and honestly it was nice and convenient at the time because I was at home so you had everything there at your fingertips but here i just feel like it's just better to come at school like you come to the island anyways you might as well just go to school while you can and plus i'm kind of over everything online as well seeing how helpful it was to me today so i did end up getting right i'll show you guys what my outfit looks like i just pretty casual and comfortable for like a last minute outfit to go to school so we're gonna go to school attend this meeting see what it's about and then we are gonna go get some lunch there is this new cafe that opened right across our apartment so i'm gonna go and check it out because i do need another cup of coffee and and I'm actually really hungry because that oatmeal wasn't enough. I mean, it was enough, but like now I'm hungry because it's like lunchtime. So we're gonna go check that out. Hopefully I can get a lot more studying done later today then I'll be in my zone. And then we have that research group to attend later today. So yeah, let's do an outfit check first. This is what my outfit is. I threw on a cardigan. This is from Shein. I also threw in a tank top. This is from Aritzia. And my leggings are also from Aritzia as well. I absolutely love wearing cardigans. I wish I brought more because the classrooms at school are freezing. And I only brought like the thinnest ones. Like this one is pretty thin. But it's also kind of comfortable as well. Because right now it's like afternoon. So it is going to be kind of warm outside. And I'm not going to be in the classroom for that long. Because the meeting's only half an hour. So I decided to throw this on. And I actually really love it. And of course I'm going to change out of my house slippers. I'm gonna put on some bands as well. I love this outfit. It's really nice and comfortable and this is typically what I would wear when I'm not wearing like hoodies and stuff all the time to go to class. So it's close to 12 30 right now. I do have some time. I think I'm just gonna start heading out and heading to school so that way I have some lead time to kind of like relax when I get there from like the rush of having to get ready last minute. So yeah I will see you guys at school. Hey guys, so we're finally at school and you guys can see it rained a lot over here. In my apartment where I lived on the island, it wasn't raining. We had to find a spot that didn't have any water, but the parking lot's crowded today because this meeting is apparently mandatory. So yeah, now we're here. It is 12.50, we made it on time. So now we're gonna walk up and see what this meeting is about and then get some lunch because I am hungry. So 
So hey everyone, we finished the meeting. It was only half an hour, no, 40 minutes. 40. It wasn't that bad. They talked about step one, how it was pass or fail and all that Meditation. kind of stuff. Yeah, that was basically about it for the meeting. Now I am hungry and yeah. I need to get lunch. I'm gonna go to the cafe, get some food, and then it is our study session. Hey guys, so we made it to the plaza where this cafe is. So I'm really excited to try it because I haven't been to a cafe in a good while. There was one that I visited here a few weeks back, but it's a little bit more further and this one's really close to my apartment. But let's go in and see how it looks. Yeah, this is really awkward. I can't find the door to get into the place. Like, I am so confused. This place is actually really nice. I love the vibe, I love the aesthetic of it. I was initially going to take my food to go, but I decided to just like stay here and eat. Might as well get the full experience anyways. I'm looking at the menu, everything looks pretty good. I am excited to try this. I am so excited. So I basically just got water and then I got some passion fruit juice. So I just finished at the cafe place and it was actually really nice. I ended up ordering the shrimp scampi pesto pasta. It was actually really good. I really enjoyed it. I ate everything. Then I ended up having a passion fruit juice and some water and it was absolutely phenomenal. The food there was absolutely incredible. I ended up getting a coffee to go. This is an iced hazelnut latte. This coffee is really good. I think I found my new go-to spot for like lunch, breakfast, for really good go-to coffees. And the vibe in there was amazing. I absolutely loved it. And plus the weather outside is really nice. It's nice and sunny. It's not too hot. I'm still in my cardigan and I'm doing just fine. The sun is really bright though. Sunglasses is absolutely a must when you're here. So now that I'm done, I'm gonna go drive back home and then we're gonna get started on studying and then we're gonna head over to our research group meeting and I'm gonna continue to enjoy this coffee because it is actually really good. I am finally back at home in my apartment. I am changed into my comfy clothes. My hair is in a bun. Once my hair is in a bun, you know that I mean I'm gonna get down to work. I have everything set up on my desk. I have my iPad here. I have the PowerPoint open. And then I also have my good notes open as well. And I like to use this to take my notes on my learning objective. So it's basically like a cool little notebook that I can copy and paste pictures and just like take my notes down and stuff. And as you guys know, I love to like color code my notes just because it makes it a whole lot easier. So I have all of that open. So we're gonna get that done today. We have about two to three lectures to watch and I'm gonna watch them at like 1.5, 1.75 speed. Cause two times the speed, I literally cannot do it unless the person is talking really, really slow. Hopefully I'm able to finish that all by today. Cause I have the entire weekend planned out because it is a long weekend. So I'm planning on getting a lot of review in, a lot of studying in, a lot of practice questions in. So hopefully everything goes as planned. And as you guys know, I love to plan out my day with my agenda. I absolutely love this. It's so cute and it's also color coded as well. So today we're going to rewatch yesterday's lectures and today's lectures. We're going to complete all the learning objectives and we're going to go over all the PowerPoints. And also at the end of my day, I like to put in a little quote that says, stay calm, you got this and you will be successful. Because having that little positive affirmation in your day really does change your outlook and your mindset a lot when you are surrounded by positivity. So that's what I have planned for today. So we are going to get down to work and you guys are going to be studying with me. So we're going to get a lot accomplished here. And we have about an hour and a half until I have to leave again for school. Why I wouldn't study on campus and just save the trip? I literally cannot study in the library. Like I just cannot. I just don't like the environment for me personally. I have to be comfortable. And plus I have everything here at home anyways. I have my desk, I have my setup and everything. I don't have to keep constantly going back and forth. And plus like I hate using public bathrooms and I like to drink a lot of water and I like to snack a lot too. So I just don't wanna keep going up to like use the bathroom or like the people who keep like walking in out of the library. Like I just can't, I get distracted so easily in that type of environment 
social setting. So I'd rather just study at home while I have everything here. I have my sticky notes. I'll also show you guys my little setup here as well. So yeah, we are gonna go and get down to work. So this is my setup. I have my iPad here, I have my mouse, I have some of my textbooks, and I have my laptop as well. I also have my iPad stand there, some peanuts because I love to snack, and my agenda, and that's just like my iPad keyboard as well. I just keep it back there. That is everything here. My desk is also really, really small, so I'm kind of limited on space, but this actually works for me. So yeah, and I also have some whiteboard markers here as well because I like to use my whiteboard to draw when I can for the pathways, and I have my lecture put up there, and we are gonna get studying. So now we are ready to go to my neuro research group event. As you guys can see, I am dressed and ready. I'm putting on these pair of mom jeans. I also have my t-shirt as well that says NRIG and it says that I am a member of it and the back is so cool. Let me show you the back. So this is what the back looks like. It is so cute and it has like a big brain at the back that says neurology. But yeah, that's what the back of the t-shirt looks like. I absolutely love it. It's like a party in the back and I'm just vibing with this t-shirt. So now we are ready to go to the event i think these jeans go really well with this t-shirt and i paired it with my apple watch my bracelet as always my necklace so it does start at six o'clock but they told us to be there a little bit early around like 5 45 just to go ahead and get food because they are serving dinner which is amazing so that way i can go ahead and eat dinner and then come home take a shower and just get to studying so my study session went pretty good in the hour and a half that i had to study i was able to get through my lecture and everything take some notes understand the material a whole lot better so that way when i come back i can finish watching the rest of the lectures that i need to watch and I have to complete about 30 questions today to make sure that I'm able to do questions because the one thing they really stress on is doing questions doing questions so I have to get on that I probably might do a real and maybe 10 rx questions I think that should be okay and then tomorrow I'll wake up really early and <laughs> gotta get on that grind again so we are ready to head out to the event tonight they're basically gonna be doing some brainwave stuff and it's actually gonna be really cool all I know is that we get to volunteer to have our brain waves red so that's really excited so I'm really excited to see what they have in store so it is currently 5 23 so it should take us about 12 to 15 minutes to get to school we better leave now to get there on time so i will see you guys on campus Hey guys, so I made it to campus. I got my t-shirt on. I actually really love the t-shirt, how the colors look. So we're gonna head over to the classroom for the meeting. It's also 5.44, so I made it here on time. I just love how beautiful it looks. I love this kind of temperature. It's not too humid. It just looks so beautiful. So for food, I got Coke, and then they gave us pizza, chips, and I got a samosa. They also had wings, but I didn't want wings, so I just got a samosa. So yeah, this is my dinner. from the research group it was amazing like just to see those brain waves and like in real like life it was so cool like i really enjoyed it i thought it was very interesting and i got a lot out of it and especially like some research opportunities as well just to put on like applications and stuff that was pretty cool i really enjoyed it so as you guys can see it's like dark out now i'm just gonna walk to my car in the dark and it's really loud too because there's like a lot of birds and stuff chirping so going to school in the caribbean you hear all of these wildlife outside and of course 
course, there's a lot of cats on campus as well, just chilling. Yeah, it's literally so dark. Oh my gosh. Thankfully, there's like lights on campus, so that's like a good thing. So let's head on home. I have a TA session at 8.30. So because it's a little after 8, we're gonna head home and make it in time for our TA session. Hey guys, so as you guys can see, I made it home and I made it in time for my TA session. So the TA session today, it's all on pancreatic secretions, bile, and intestinal motility. This is going to go on till about like maybe 10, 10 30, depending on how much time she takes. Now, after this, then I can go take a nice shower, get into my pajamas, and just continue studying the rest of my PowerPoints for the night. So as you guys can see, it is after the TA session. I have showered, I did my skincare, I'm in my pajamas, cuddled in a blanket, and I'm just finishing re-watching some of my lectures before I head off to bed, because currently it's like almost like 1.15 in the morning. So I probably should head off to bed soon. That was typically my day today with doing lectures online. As you guys can see, it was a complete fail. I do not like doing lectures online for me. I think I'm just generally like over it. I just wasn't as productive. And I just feel like I prefer going to class in person because I'm able to focus better, ask the prof questions, and just like interact with students in general. I just feel like I'm more overall productive and can understand the material a lot better. And that's personally the best way that I learn. Of course, everyone has different learning strategies. Everyone learns differently. They succeed differently. And for me, this is just my way of learning and being productive is just being in class. Overall, it was a pretty busy day. We did get a lot done. We visited a lot of places. We had lunch. We went to our neuro research group meeting and that was pretty fun as well. So I would say today was overall pretty successful in other ways yeah that was my day i want to thank you guys so much for coming along with me i hope you guys did enjoy this little daily vlog of my day today as always if you love watching my videos please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below turn on your post notifications give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys